So Threadripper Pro was released quite a few months ago now and Lenovo, who was the exclusive partner for producing, you know, Threadripper Pro workstations for, by AMD or, you know, in partnership with AMD, the deal has kind of cancelled and something has changed. But what has changed is that now you can buy Threadripper Pro from the shelf, it's actually in stock, and you can build yourself a Threadripper Pro workstation. But the question is, Threadripper Pro versus Threadripper, what has changed? Because on paper, the specs don't look that good. And in this video, I'm hoping to show you, or we're gonna look through some specs and see what is the difference between Threadripper Pro versus Threadripper and whether you should build it or not. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 OEM license, then look no further. BobKeys.com is a website where you can purchase all sorts of keys and licenses for very affordable prices. With a tech notice discount, you'll be able to get the Windows 10 Pro license 25% off. To purchase the license, click on the link in the description or search for Windows 10 license on BobKeys.com. Then add the product to the cart and press proceed checkout. Remember to add the 25% discount code and complete the order. Once you have the license key, click here, here, paste in the license, and you're all done. Check out popkeys.com in the description below. By the way, with this video, I'm also testing quite a few things. If you remember, the A7S III autofocus has been quite poorly with the previous updates, but I updated the firmware and it seems like it's keeping on a little bit better and it's not hunting in the background over there. So let me know how it's doing in the comment section below. As well, I'm testing out this uh, Stella microphone. The microphone is from a company called TZ Audio and the actual model is called Stella X2 microphone. So yeah, let me know how does it sound compared to the, some of the other ones. So let's have a look at some of the specs then. First of all, what you notice is that there's a massive price difference between the Threadripper Pro versus Threadripper. So if we look at the 60 core model, for example, the Threadripper Pro costs $1,500 more than the Threadripper. And the price for that is quite ridiculous. $5,489 for Threadripper Pro 64 core which is just insane. You can build another completely beast of a system computer for that. But let's let's have a look at some of the other differences then. First of all, in the Threadripper line or the 3000 Threadripper series, there is only three processors, 24 core, 32 core, and 64 core. Whereas the Threadripper Pro 3000 series has four processors in there, 12 core, 16 core, 32 core, and 64 core model. You're wondering how does it stack up, especially the 16 core and the 12 core compared to Ryzen 5900X, which is a 12 core processor, and Ryzen 5950X, which is a 16 core processor. Why is that the Threadripper Pro 16 core processor compared to the Ryzen you know, 5950X processor? There is a massive price difference and you'll see what the difference is in a moment. And if we look at the clock speeds for both of these processor lines, then you can see that the Threadripper Pro has minus 200 megahertz on the clock speed, on base clock and boost clock speeds, which just looks, I'm paying more for the processor, it looks to be slower, so what am I paying for? What you are paying for is double the amount of PCIe 4.0 lanes. On Threadripper, we have 64 PCIe 4.0 lanes, and on Threadripper Pro, we have 128 lanes of PCIe 4.0. Now, that is a complete workstation area because not a lot of people in the consumer market would need 128 lanes of PCIe 4.0 unless you're running quad GPUs and have absolutely tons of PCIe 4.0 and the two storage, for example, or NVMe storage. But it's very hard to occupy the 128 lanes of PCIe 4.0. Another thing that is different is that the Threadripper Pro maximum operating temperature or temperature max temps has gone down from 95 degrees, which was in Threadripper line to 90 degrees. And if you're wondering if you can overclock the Threadripper line, then you cannot do that. The clock speeds have completely locked and you can't overclock it. Whereas Threadripper series without the th Pro 
you can overclock them and, you know, tune around a little bit if you wanted to. Another big difference between those two platforms is the maximum supported RAM or memory. Threadripper Pro has increased its maximum memory capacity from 512 gigabytes, which was on the Threadripper line, to two terabytes of memory. It's not just quad channel memory anymore, it is eight channel memory. And most of the motherboards have eight actual slots of the RAM in there, which means in order to get a benefit from all of these memory lanes, you have to occupy every single channel on the motherboard. And if you're wondering how much does two terabytes of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM cost ECC memory, let's add that on the top there as well, because a single stick in that configuration has to be 256 gigabytes. Yes, single stick, 256 gigabytes, and I reckon this is gonna set you back probably roughly around five grand. So if you do want the two terabytes of RAM, you're gonna have to set aside 40 grand of your money. Yep, that's a good house deposit or a very, very good car. Both of the processor lines also have a same TDP of 280 watts. And even though the physical size and how it looks, the processors, they look the same, the actual socket has been changed and the socket name is different as well. But the new motherboards that you will get, there is only two motherboards available in the Threadripper Pro system. At the time of making this video, I'm hoping there will be more in the future. But right now, there's one gigabyte board and one ASUS board available. And those motherboards are very expensive and extremely large. The one from ASUS will set you back roughly around $800 or 800 pounds, which is another insane factor in the price of the build. But if you can buy two terabytes of storage or you know ram for your system you'll probably be okay cashing out 800 pounds or 800 dollars for also the motherboard so now in terms of the real world performance on the specs we see the pcia 4.0 lanes you know more of them we see lower clock speeds we see the same tdp we have eight channel memory now so what is the actual real world performance difference you know how does it work because you know, surely the threadripper pro is actually weaker but interestingly enough the Threadripper Pro performance in creative applications is absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to give you one example of one program which is Adobe Premiere Pro video editing program. Now if you want me to cover any other, other programs or applications let me know in the comment section below. But on Premiere Pro as you can see on the stats chart done by Puget Systems you can see that the 32 core Threadripper Pro actually outperforms the 64 core Threadripper system, which is just amazing. And most of the gain doesn't actually come from the export speed, which usually, you know, is the case. Increasing cores will give you a better export uh, speed or export the thing faster. But actually, the most gain on these processors or Threadripper Pro has over the Threadripper is in live playback speed. So if you are wondering what is like the best, you know, live playback processor and you're really struggling in the live playback because arguably that is probably one of the most important aspects of video editing. The Threadripper Pro line is an absolute killer. As you can see, even the 16 core is about 10% better than the Ryzen 5950X 16 core processor, which is absolutely amazing. But obviously there is a price difference there as well. Now, if you're wondering if the 16 core and 12 core have any differences in terms of PCIe 4.0 lanes or 8 channel memory, then a no. Both of these processors, the 3955WX or 3945WX processors have 8 channel memory and 128 PCIe 4.0 lanes. So if you don't need the high core counts in your system, you can still get all the benefits of the workstation kind of features of high capacity memory and PCIe 4.0 lanes. So in conclusion, the Threadripper Pro has taken a massive step into the Pro, like a workstation where the speeds are clocked, you can't overclock it, which probably benefit people who work in the science field or more in the field of doing research, medical research, or all sorts of other things where they need that amount of memory and the loads of graphics cards, then this is the system for those people. In terms of bang for buck workstation uh, equipment, 
probably the Threadripper is still right on the top over there. And unfortunately, we still don't have any competition from Intel because the Threadripper Pro is roughly around 30 to 40% better. Even less expensive processors in the line and core counts will beat the Intel Xeon processors. So hopefully we'll get some updates from Intel soon. If you want to pick out any of these processors or think about buying or building out the system, I'm going to leave the processor as well as the motherboard and other system uh, in the description below if you want to build one of those. Thank you very much guys for watching. Hopefully you now know a bit better what is the difference between Threadripper and Threadripper Pro and if this might be a system for you. If you have other questions or any addition, I'd love to meet you in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoyed it it actually does make a difference that little click will change my life well it kind of does so now let me know how did the microphone sound how's the odd focus quality did it keep up because the actual area where it focuses is in here so i'm wondering if it focused between the microphone and my eyes i didn't keep my eye constantly on the screen so let me know how did it do okay thanks guys see you soon Bye bye